All right, we're ready, straighten up, and... Hey everyone, welcome to I Believe This Channel's first ever vlog. I mean, it's been long overdue, but it's done. And I want to start it off with Comic-Con, a special event that takes place supposed to be every year, but um... Yeah, it's an annual event held at the F1 track where you're surrounded by a bunch of nerds. They're gonna take over the world someday, just watch. The last one I went to was in 2019, but now it's finally back and I was hyped. And you might be wondering, what costume am I taking? Yeah, if you haven't known, you know, one problem I didn't anticipate it is now it's a lot colder. That's why I have to wear this now, because it's freezing cold everywhere I go. Oh boy. <sighs> so, it was the day of the Comic Con. I was ready, I was bold, I was in my costume. Why don't I show you how it started? Owen, you ready? Yeah. There were a ton of people, probably more than the last time I went. I'm not sure, I wasn't counting numbers, but every stand was filled to the brim with action figures, comic books, masks, stuff, just nerdy, geeky stuff, whatever you were thinking of. There's probably something for you there. Why don't I show you the rooms? Seriously, I dare anyone who's watching this video to count how many Funko Pops there are in this video alone and times that by four, and that's probably how many there were in this entire event. There were so many. There are too many of them. What are we going to do? Oh no! Anyway, don't me, me, me. I'm Link. Oh yeah, you see, I, I'm Link. He, he's Mario. He, he's King bad. He's, he's second place. <laughs> Throughout the entire event, I was asked by a ton of people for pictures. Yeah, I'll be honest, I have been asked more pictures at this one day than I ever been before. It was crazy. Here's a recap of some that I was able to capture on video. <laughs> Anytime, yeah. She's like the best one out of all of them. <laughs> Glad to see another Avatar fan. Thank you. Here's the number of how many I think uh, asked for a photo. It's probably not right, but... Oh uh, yeah, there's uh, celebrities. Yeah, I almost forgot about them because I didn't meet any of them. Look, I'm not rich. I don't have 200 BD on me to spend. <laughs> there are five celebrities. Uh, I got to meet Lain... Lainey... Oh my gosh, how do I say your name? I'm, I'm sorry if you're watching this. Yeah. I got to meet Lilani Shu. She was really sweet, she was really nice. And the holy grail was this Lego Jawa figure. I'm a huge fan of Lego. This is definitely something I'm gonna keep and sell after like 50 years and gets a good buck out of it. We met her and we showed her it. We asked if she can sign it. Yeah, she signed it right there. She got her signature, initials, and the Jawa character she plays. Yeah. Dude, Let's go. That's so cool. It was, it was really cool. And from a distance, right next to her, was the artist for Rick and Morty. They had their own stands and they were free, but you didn't need a VIP pass or anything to see them. And then there are the big boys that were in the Q&A room at the very back with the, the movie theater at the very end of the hall. What's happening right now? You know them. You came to meet them. Let's hear it for the amazing, the phenomenal, from Stranger Things, Major! 
I only stayed to see uh, Mason die, the Stranger Things dude, and Amani Garcia, Lucifer. So I only assume Paul Anderson and Clive Standen got the same response. We got a Batman Superman one and two Teen Titans comics. Owen, he got two Superboy comics. I also got a DVD of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Love that movie. And we both got special drawings. I chose the newest Batman movie and Owen got a picture of Spider-Man. So, how would you say your uh, first Comic-Con scene? I'm gonna say that was, that was an 8 out of 10. Everything was fun except prices were really high. The things we found were cool. Overall, this year's Comic-Con was great. I definitely enjoy it, and I highly recommend if you haven't go to go see it yourself. Huh? I only went for one day. If you have the chance to go see it for two days, you're gonna see a lot more things. I mean, the first day was the cosplay competition. I missed that. I, oh, but congratulations to everyone that competed, and it, yeah. Is this thing on? Okay. Uh, I just want to say a few words uh, about how this relates to Bahrain School, what the purpose of this video was. One, it was just for fun, but also because it gives us insight into what we can do here, what there are available locally around here, and gives insights to people all around the world of what happens here. And I think it's really important to share and show how there's more to Bahrain than it's just an island. And yeah, I totally wasn't told by the uh, teacher to uh, you know, say all this, I totally was saying this from the bottom of my heart, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and take care everyone. Happy Thanksgiving.